this video we are going to describe how surfactants make water absorbable by dry soil for this we need to know what surfactants are surfactants are usually organic compounds that are amphiphilic that is they have a water attracting side or a hydrophilic head and a water repellent side or a hydrophobic tail this amphiphilic nature helps forming an oil friendly environment by forming a micelle the tail inside the micelle is lipophilic. Surfactants also work by reducing surface tension of water. Surface tension is due to the water molecules tightly clinging onto one another. The surfactant heads bond with the water molecules while the tails remain atop on the surface, hence reducing the surface tension. There are four types of surfactants, anionic, cationic, non-ionic and zoiter ionic when we introduce the paper clip to the surface of the water we will see that the paper clip will float even though it is more dense than the water this is because the weight of the paper clip is supported by the surface tension of the water in this experiment hand soap is used as a surfactant because it is a good example of a surfactant If we add a dilute solution of the surfactant to the surface of the water supporting the paper clip, the surfactant will interrupt the surface tension, thus the paper clip will sink. In this video, dry cloth is used as a replacement for the dry soil. As you can see, when the water is introduced to the dry cloth, water droplet will be formed on the surface of the dry cloth before it gets absorbed. When a dilute solution of a surfactant such as soap is dropped onto the dry cloth, the solution gets absorbed quicker than that of the pure water. The reason that the staple stays on water is that the pressure exerted on the skin type surface of the water is lower than the surface tension of water. When the surfactant is added, it interferes with the water molecule's ability to bind to each other, thus lowering the surface tension of water and causing the staple to sink. In the second experiment, the dry cloth can be used as a substitute to the dry soil. When the water is dropped onto the soil, if it takes less than 5 seconds to penetrate, it means that it is not repellent. If it takes more than 5 seconds, it means that there is repellency in the soil. Repellency happens when the soil develops a hydrophobic layer on top of itself. As you can see in the picture, the parts of the ground that haven't sinked are hydrophobic, and the rest absorb the water, and they are hydrophilic. There are several applications for surfactants. Two of them are as emulsifiers in oil industry to help mix oil and water to decrease cost and as cleaning agents to remove oil and grease particles from a surface. We hope that you enjoyed the video and learned how surfactants work. Thank you.